It ain't your enemies. It ain't your enemy. It's the ones that you know. Black on black shine. Not black on black crime. It's called black on black shine, y'all. Ooh, they hate when they see you come up, don't they? They hate when they see you elevate, don't they? I ain't never seen one of my enemies. And I'm going to tell y'all what I mean when I say my enemies. I'm talking about the foreign dog Compton Crips. I'm talking about the Spooktown Compton Crips. I'm talking about the Acacia Block Compton Crips. I'm talking about the Lantana Block Compton Crips. I'm talking about the Trag New Park Compton Crips. I'm talking about all the people that my neighborhood at one point beef with or still beef with. None of them dudes ever shot at me, y'all. Thank God none of them never shot at me. I've never been in the in an altercation with none of these guys. And I done been out there in the streets for a long time. But guess what? I also been to prison for a long time. And being in prison, I was able to meet some of them dudes from some of these rival neighborhoods and found out that we ain't, everything that we got is in common. Poverty. We all live in Compton, California. We all go through the same struggle. My mama done knocked on their neighbor door. They mama done knocked on their neighbor door. And you got some sugar, you got some salt, you got some pepper. We all got the same thing in common. But you know what? It's the homies, the friends, the family members. The ones that consume the most hatred towards your success. Or whatever you're doing in life is somebody that you know that's close to you with the black on black shine. It was black on black crime, but now it's black on black shine, black on black shine, y'all. When you're coming up, they hating on you. Man, I got into it with somebody I know, man, over something real small, but I seen the bigger picture. Maybe he didn't see the bigger picture, but I seen the bigger picture, and I said if they could do it small, they could get me when it get tall. When the success get tall enough, they gonna really get me. Black on black shine. We seen it with Nipsey Hussle. We seen it with a whole lot of people that we know. Somebody called me and said, man, can I get his phone number? The same homie that I didn't got into it with. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and pass out his number because this is a guy that's in the game. And maybe he could help him. Because I don't have that attitude. I don't have that hateful, spiteful attitude to why I don't want to see nobody come up. I wasn't raised like that, y'all. Black on black shine is when you get a big chain and they hating on you and say you got moist tonight in your chain. Them ain't real diamonds you got. Black on black shine is when they see you getting all attention and they get to play the hating on you. They get to playing on your demise. They ready to take you out the game, y'all. Black on black shine. It's no longer black on black crime. You got a few dudes that's still out there infatuated with where you come from, your neighborhood, and they wanna just, they, 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 they don't got it up here. They still gone, so they gonna, they gonna knock you down just based on the facts. That, that's how they was taught, they was poisoned that way, y'all. But a lot of people then graduated from black on black crime and escalated to black on black shine to where they hating on you because you coming up, you looking good. I told some partners of mine, I said, man, these dudes don't dislike the neighborhood because past beasts. Because a lot of them don't know about the past beef. You know what they mad about when they see the young homies pulling up in the Rolls Royces, when they see the young homies pulling up in them Lamborghinis and the Maseratis and them Corvettes and they spitting rubbers in the hood, they burning out. That's what they mad about because guess what? They find out that they girlfriends, the woman that they love, some of them females in the streets that they love is liking on these dudes' pictures. They see them in the comments section. A lot of these dudes see some of them, some of they girls and some of the women they like in your comment section. Putting hearts on your pictures. Liking on your pictures on social media. And they mad about that. They hating about that. Some of these dudes then found out that some of the women that they like or maybe their girlfriend is over there messing with this dude from this hood because they shining. And they mad about that. Black on black shine. Let's load the cars up with guns, y'all. Let's go put the MAC-10s and the AK-47s in the car. You drive, I'ma jump in the back seat. Let's go over there and bust on these dudes because our hood don't get along with them. But you ain't telling that youngster. You're a part of the black on black shine movement. Oh, it gets deep, y'all. Black on black shine, y'all ain't never heard that before. But you're hearing it from Compton Rick Rock. Because I'm telling you what I know. I had to realize 
why I know a lot of these entertainers, why I know a lot of these people in high positions. They not trying to pull me in, but they want to pull my resources, use my resources for their own gain. But you know what? If you can't be used, then you're going to get misused. So I'd rather be used than misused. That way, that means I'm important to them. I got something that they that they want to obtain, something that they need to grow their platforms, y'all. Black on black shine. I won't try to get that in y'all head. I'm starting to see a lot of people on the internet hating on other YouTubers. Black on black shine. And these is black people, y'all. That's the crazy part. I hate to use this race thing and, 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 and say this black thing. And, and I hate that I even got to do this. But it's true. I seen one dude on, on, on the internet hating on a black woman because she didn't find a way to manipulate the system on YouTube. She didn't find a way to make her numbers climb up. And he said that she's scamming and she's fraud and all that. This is not your money. This money comes from some white people. We don't know where this money comes from. So what you mad at her for? Because her views is going up, her numbers coming up because she got a $10,000 check this month? Man, that's a black woman, homie. What is you mad about? Who cares if it's everybody on the internet is on here acting? Everybody on here uh, 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 creating characters and coming up with content. Everybody not coming with real content. Black on black shine, y'all. So look, man, check this out, man. I, I, I got up this morning. This is what I really want to talk about. I got up this morning. The first thing I do when I get up, I grab my cell phone in the morning. And I sing rest in peace to my son. I don't want to say the man name because he did lose his son yesterday. I just want to send my condolence to that man. I don't even want to put him out there because this ain't the time for all that. I just want y'all to know. I don't even know if his son died from gang violence or anything like that, but I want to let y'all know, man. Whenever y'all fathers out there lose a kid or child, and if you got other kids, can y'all please take them kids to get counseling? Can y'all please not go out there and be in a revengeful mind state at the age of my age and older? Because once you once it's over with, it's over with. At this time, this is not the time to be going to jail. This is not the time for a man in his 30s, 40s, and 50s to be going to jail. This is not the time for nobody to be going to jail. But can, can, can we please put them kids, man, your sons and your daughters, in counseling because they do got to go to the funeral. They got to see their brother, or, or you got to see your son, the mother got to see their kid in the casket. We need counseling. Can we please adopt that mentality? And steady cussing and being and, and, and spiteful and ready to go revenge because some idiot didn't, did something to our family member. We got to learn how to let the law deal with that. They got a job. This is what they get paid tax money for. Don't ruin yourself. Some things happen that's out of our control that we can't control. We got to let God handle it how he handle it. It, it, it. Don't worry about how fast the retaliation or the get back might come when it comes from God. It's going to happen. You gotta just sit back and let it happen, man. And, and that dude, I met him on a few occasions, man. I met the father on a few occasions, on different occasions. And he's a good dude. He changed his life around, y'all. He went from being a thugged out gang member to now he's climbing up to Cess. He's doing big things in the community. He's doing big things with, with another big time guy. I don't want to say his name. And, and you know, somebody that, that, that know his past, know his struggle, will be proud of him. And I just want that dude to stay on this path. I'm not going to say his name. I hope he see this video. I hope somebody know exactly what I'm talking about and send this video to him. Because I don't want to see him crash out if it did happen behind gang violence. Or if it did happen behind drugs. Because I know a lot of people that's losing their kids to the, to the fentanyl drug. But we don't know if that's what it was. But if that's what it was, can y'all please get counseling? And if somebody that's on my page know this brother, talk to him. Talk to him. I'm going to try to do my little best DMing myself. But anyway, y'all, man, black on black shine, I want y'all to really take that, put that in y'all mind. And understand that a lot of this stuff that's going on is behind jealousy, man. A lot of people is hating on you because you're doing something that they can't do. A lot of people is hating on you because you're getting the attention. A lot of people is hating on your work ethic that you getting up and doing whatever you're doing, whether it's YouTube, whether it's a job, whatever it is, a lot of people is mad at you because you being the best at that what you can do and doing something that they want to do. And that's just what it is, man.
A lot of this stuff that we see going on, it ain't, like I say, it ain't because past rival beefs. It ain't because of that, man. It's because you looking good, you feeling good, you happy, you getting all the women, you making money, you getting all the money, you out here shining. Yeah, you out here shining. A lot of people mad about that. Take that in consideration, man. It's Compton Rick Rock with Compton Rick Rock TV. Join this Sunday morning. Go give me some good breakfast. Some of them eggs, that bacon. Y'all know what it is. Some of that orange juice. Mimosa. Compton Rick Rock with Compton Rick Rock TV. Y'all have a good one.